Hello all retro maniacs, Olga Heldwein here and today I will show you how I created this rusty tree on canvas. The base of my project will be this layer chipboard tree from Snipart. I glued mine together but then I will unglue it to cover it completely with this nice product. It's called Rusty. It's from Viva Deco and it's basically a rusty paint that you can apply to have this rusty texture and effect uh, on different surfaces. The best result you will get when you use tool with really nice texture like high textured sponge. Paste is perfect base for other media when it's dry. I'm using this to crayons to add some nice greenish color to my tree. To have even more dimension on my tree I add some chipboard pieces between uh, three layers. With this technique to uh, add this rusty and metal effect and I will need something in a rusty color and here I'm using liquid acrylic uh, paint from DecoArt and to add a little bit shine and metallic effect I will use Inca Gold from Viva Decor and I will just rub it with my finger into higher points of my texture. During my tree is drying, I decided to create a background and I have here canvas that it painted black and I will stamp it with Distress White Ink. Yes, Distress White Ink, it's perfect, it's quite opaque on black surfaces, works totally like uh, all other colors, but it's opaque. Yeah, so it works perfectly both with stamps and stencils and I'm using Carabella ones to create some mess in background. Around the area that I will put my tree on canvas, I added a little highlight with blue crayon. And like I said, I just highlight the higher points with Inca Gold and you can go back and forward with Inca and gold colors and some acrylic paints as long as you want. To add a little bit metal look, I'm adding a shiny powder and a shade of patina together with a matte varnish to have just a little bit spark in my project. I'm creating small composition around my frame using some wings and flowers and metal elements. And with antique creams I'm creating this uh, foggy and dusty and also vintage and rusty effect. To make it look a little bit more like tree I added as well a little bit moss with different kinds of glue uh, here and there just picking from under my tree. As a finishing touch I'm adding a little bit distress spray and black ink dots and afterwards I decided that it will look better with some gears added uh, so I just uh, antique them with antiquing cream and add to my project and yeah it's a final result. Thank you so much for your attention. I wish you a nice and creative day. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Retro Craft Shop site and blog and my blog as well. And all links will be below in video description. Thank you very much and bye bye.